What is going on everybody? Tech enthusiast here and by now you probably have come across Unleashed Recompiled which is an unofficial PC port of Sonic Unleashed. Now the good thing is you can also experience this on your Android device and I'll show you how to do that in this video. So firstly when you transfer the game and the other files to our Android device I am using an Odin 2 in this video and I will be using the archiver as it is free and fast. As for the files, I put it in a random folder called music as I can easily get to it as you can see here. Obviously you can put it wherever you want. So here is the main ISO file. This is the USA version. So make sure you know the corresponding files are also of the same region and the update file is below that. Now these multiple folders, these are the DLC files and it is recommended to use them as they do bring some value to the game as well as enhancements. Now if I go into one of the folders, uh, you can see the DLC file here within multiple folders. Or what you could do is basically copy all of the DLC files and put it in a folder of its own as it will be easy to get to when you get to the installer to install all of the DLC files. Alright, just go to your web browser now. So firstly we're going to go to the Unleashed Recompiled uh, GitHub page. And I will leave a link in the description. Go to the releases at the time of making this video. This is the latest version. So we're just going to scroll down until we get to assets and then select the Windows version. So this shouldn't take too long to download. Okay, so that has finished. Next, we need to go to another tab. Again, I will leave a link in the description. This is WinLater, WinLater Bionic to be precise. This is a custom version which allows this game to run. Now again, we're going to go to Assets and you can see the file size is very big. I've got it already downloaded, so I'm not going to download it here. So make sure you finish that downloading and we'll proceed to the next step. So I'm going to head back into the archiver. Then I'm going to go into a folder where I keep my PC games. I've called it PC. Once in there, I'm going to click or tap on the plus icon and then the folder icon. And I will rename this to Sonic Unleashed. You can name it whatever you want. Once that is done, I'm going to go into the download folder and then find the Sonic Unleashed zip file. Tap on that and then select the third extract option. Then I'm going to go back to the root of the storage into the PC folder, Sonic Unleashed and then tap on the arrow icon and it will extract the files like so. So now I'm going to go back into the download folder and now we're going to install WinLater Bionic and we're going to install it as you would with any other app or game. It's only going to take a few seconds. Once that has finished, you can tap on open. I'm just going to tap on done. Then go to the home screen and launch WinLater from there. And it will ask you for access. So just give it the permissions and it will start installing the system files. I'm just going to speed up the video here. Once that has finished, we're going to tap on OK. And then allow file access permissions. So now I'm going to tap on the plus icon on the top right hand corner for name. I'm going to change it to Sonic Unleashed. Tap on next then done. Leave the screen resolution as it is 720p. Enable Bionic container or this won't work. Then for graphics driver tap on the cogwheel icon. And I'm going to change that to 25 Bionic. Then for the DX wrapper going to click the cogwheel again. Here are a few other settings you can use but I'm just going to leave it at the default. Then I'm going to scroll down. Now if you want you can enable the FPS but it does get a bit intrusive for the next step so I'm just going to disable it for now. Then we're going to go to the bottom and we're going to go into drives. And here for drive D I'm going to point it to the PC folder. I can go into the Sonic folder but I'm going to use PC just in case if I want to launch another game. Select this folder. 
Then for drive E, I'm going to point that to the folder where it contains the ISO and the DLC files as we'll have to come to this numerous times on the next step. Then tap on the advanced setting and then enable SDL2 compatibility to enable controllers to work. And then tap on the tick icon. And then lastly the play icon. Okay, so here I am using a Bluetooth mouse, you don't have to. So we're going to go into the D drive, then the Sonic Unleashed, and then run the EXE. So here is the installer, I'm going to leave it as English, tap on next. Then we need to add the game and the update. So we're going to go to add files. And then we're going to go to my computer, then into the E drive. So we're straight into the Sonic folder and select the ISO. Then next we need to go back into the same folder again and then select the update. So now we can go next. So here you have the option to install DLCs or you can skip it if you want or you can install the DLCs individually as you can see the names here. So again we're going to go back into the E drive. Now I'm just going to expand this here so you can see the names so if you want to install individual DLCs you have the option there but I'm going to go into the new folder and then select all of the DLCs and then click on open and they're all highlighted here so I'm going to click on next then next again and it will start extracting the necessary files so I'm just going to speed up the video here once that has finished we can click on next and now the game is starting to boot up. So we'll just wait a few seconds for it to do its thing. All right, so we're at the title screen. You can click start or the A button. Now before launching a new game, I'm gonna go to options and just quickly show you what's available. So this is system, import, audio, and then lastly video so i'm just going to go down to fps so the lowest that you can go down to is 15 fps and then 30 is somewhat suitable but i'm going to put it up to 60 fps although my device can't hit that right now well technically it can with a different adreno driver but it sort of freezes the game at certain cutscenes Anyway, these are the other options available. I'm just going to leave everything default for now. Then I'm going to head back and then start the game. Now, whenever you see these cutscenes, you can actually skip it. You need to press the start button five times. As you can see, that has been skipped. Here we go! <laughs> So there you have it, this is how you play Sonic Unleashed Recompiled on your Android device through WinData. Now one thing I want to mention is please do not ask me where to download the game from. This is something you will have to obtain for yourself. There is a guide on the official GitHub page. Now a huge thanks to the developers for making this possible. So that does it for this video. If you have found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel then please do consider subscribing as I have more videos coming up. Thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.